Dislike, download now. What's going on guys, it's your boy Cash, and today we are going to be having some fun with a unit that I actually really wish that I, I can get. Sorry, I really wish I can get this unit, but unfortunately she, he has not come home. He has not come home, but lovely, same person that let me try out uh, Isis. Cecilia also is gonna let me try out Hades, Heidi, or Hyde, Jackal, whatever. Um, this character is actually pretty busted, and I have always said that this character was really good, and I've said that this character can solo a lot of stuff. A lot of people have trouble with this character in PvP, and I'm gonna explain all of that. So if you guys wanna help out the boys, sit here, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna explain me some Hyde. And that, pretty much that punchline would never work for any other character, but you know what, we'll do what we have to do. So it's just so he'll shut the hell up. We're gonna go over to strategy, and let's, let, you know what? It's my, it's my, it's like my personal pleasure to see like what other people build. And uh, we see here we have uh, the Hades set. We have a, a crit uh, HP, and then the number one, sixty nine percent. Ooh, it's. <laughs> uh, is counterattack, which I actually agree with the most popular. Uh, Hades actually. Hades is. As, not to be controversial, I guess, but Hades is probably amongst the best because you make his auto attack heal you. But he does have a, a ultimate that does heal. Let's 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 go. Let's let's deep dive into the character. Uh, so first off, let's just go straight with the Reaper, man. The Reaper is probably the most insane thing. Is makes it so annoying, to, but it makes him have so many ways to be played by himself and so many ways to be played on a specific team. So as we can see, Hyde. Is immune to buffs and debuffs and takes 10% reduced damage from all sources which is hard to figure out what sources those may be because he can't get poisoned or anything like that but it's probably because of other weird stuff uh, other damage types that are either in the game or maybe they'll put into the game in the future uh, so he grants a breath of the deep stack per attempt to buff or debuff hide uh, grants 10 death of the deep stacks upon the death of an ally up to 50 stacks so if we do the mathematicals uh let's see uh if you see on the upper right uh breath of the deep undispellable can't get rid of it sorry uh grants five percent attack per stacked and three percent damage reduction per 10 stacks so let's do the math let's bring out the calculator because you know just in case even though you're like you're probably like, you could you could do that math by yourself not if you're stupid. So it's five percent per stack. So five times uh, fifty. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, two hundred and fifty percent of attack and this. That's a lot. Um, that is a lot of a, a stanky attack you get for free, and it's undispellable. They can't get rid of it. So that's pretty cool. And for this one, it is uh, three percent uh, damage reduction per ten stacks. So fifty. That means five. That's easy math. That's fifteen percent additional damage reduction. And that I'm assuming is including into that. So about twenty. 25%. I don't know if it like stacks differently, but that would make it about 25% uh, at max that's damage reduction. Now he still gets chunked because most people build him YOLO mode, which is uh, the Hades mode, Hades counterattack. So he still gets chunked a little bit. Uh, you could make him a little bit more tanky because he can sustain himself a little bit. That's why you saw that one person said, you know what, I'm going to put him on HP. Yeah, I guess you could do that. But, uh, you know, I, it, most people are hoping that he counterattack and keeps himself healed up. So. Last but not least, when taking the first deadly hit in a battle, Hyde survives and restores HP based on the current Breath of the Deep stacks, each uh, restoring 1% max HP. So if he uh, is at 50, he will recover to half his health and continue the fight, which is fantastic. Obviously, ways to counter this, if you're fighting against it in PvP, kill him as early as possible. Killing his teammates gives him 10 stacks. So the, if you kill everyone outside of him, he immediately has 40 stacks. Uh, especially if you didn't debuff him. But I want to let you guys know also, which is really cool about him and another good way to counter him, is that he's actually Pringles to uh, AP absorption. You can you can stall his turn, you can push him back. So he may be immune to buffs and debuffs, but uh, anything of that nature, like slow uh, AP absorption, AP pushback, stuff like that does work on him. But that's why you put counters. So if you do try to keep attacking him, there's a chance that he might attack you back. So that, that's one way to do it. You can't stun him, you can't slow him, can't do any of that nonsense, but you can uh, adjust that his turn never comes. <laughs> So that would be the difference of if you have someone that's going HP or going anything else that's not counter, that's usually why they're going counter because they know that that, that is the, the, the trick to, uh, to beat a Hades, right? So let's talk about the basic attack. So he attacks the enemy twice, so two hits, each dealing damage 50% of his attack, which will be on 
buff crack uh, if he has a lot of stacks while stealing two buffs now obviously he can't have any buffs the reason he's stealing two buffs is to buff up his passive uh, and it's also to make him a stripper which makes him incredibly annoying as a unit to fight against and because why why would you stop there why would why would you stop there uh reducing the target's hp ceiling by 80 percent of the damage dealt in this attack now that's only important if we're being honest that's only important when you're dealing with a uh, a healing comp so he's supposed to out sustain them pretty much like he's healing but you're attacking them and they're healing it's actually pretty funny it's good against uh, a hades <laughs> <laughs> if you have another character, I don't, I'm not 100% sure what characters do this, but if you're fighting against Hades, if you want to reduce the amount that he's healing, that's another really excellent way to do so by reducing his HP ceiling so he can't go back to full health all day. So, as you can see here, uh, you can uh, increase the HP ceiling by 100% of the damage that his basic attack is doing, which is insane. Uh, you can also increase the damage. You would definitely level this up. You're going to be using that skill mostly. I think that this is the most important, though you can't choose which one it goes into. But when this is max, I feel like you're you're a okay. But he does have an S3, which is Cerebus. Steals one buff from each enemy and deals damage to all enemies equal to 90% of attack, which is pretty pretty decent. It converts 30% of the damage into healing. So that's why I was saying like some people could go something cheeky outside of that, and you can like do some stuff like, well, I don't need the other thing. I'll, I'll just heal when I S3. There is a lot of risk to that. That's actually why a lot of people put hades on the ling yes he has a skill where he heals his s2 heals him but it's like not enough so that's why people just run hades so everything Li ling does just heals him so that's why you see that done so i think that that's why you see people do hades even though he does have a skill that heals him so as you can see this person attack attack that's beautiful attack attack defense defense is actually not that bad i, I don't i don't think that's a wrong call there i think defense or hp is a uh, pretty good uh i think he feels like he has enough attack here uh which is uh what is that 338 hundo on this one this is not the, my my friends list one uh but still i think he has some pretty good ones some crit would be good accuracy would be good so you can steal the buffs uh, accuracy is a pretty important stat on him not that fast but doesn't need to be also leader skill by far best in slot right there if you if you have this character you absolutely a thousand percent do not need to go with speed if i had hades i would make a tanky team a hundred percent because 50 percent free resist is insane outside of like i said the pushbacks if you're trying to resist the pushbacks then yes get his resist up but giving your team resist and then building a tanky team around it that means that the other teams that's just trying to speed cleave and cc you they won't be able to do it. <laughs> they won't be able to do it. And you will basically run over them because they can't keep the buffs on him because he's stripping the buffs. You're dealing damage, you have healing, and you'll outlast them pretty much. And that's why he's such a pest. And that's why he you see him in a team. And as you can see, look, another re reason which I think is really smart here, you have characters on your team that do AoE buffs. Why? Because those buffs will also give him free stacks. You have uh, he, this person, just this comp in general, we know that Gabriel, uh, Gabby gives out two buffs, right? Two buffs for free. This person, I think, gives a immunity buff on something, yeah, on auto or something like that. Not to, uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, Berenice does a shield plus a recovery buff. And that and it go, the list goes on and on. It's so annoying to deal with this character when they have someone constantly trying to give him buff. So even if you're not trying to debuff the character, if the team, if his own team is trying to buff him, his stacks will get high, and high, and high. And then you just you just can't fight it. You just can't fight it. So that's why I love this team comp. I, outside of the Tae Young, uh, I think that this could be literally any other DPS because he's just too RNG. But I think this whole this team comp here is annoying to deal with. And then also I think he gets additional. Uh, damage reduction when she S3s, right? When the, the Sweet Harvest makes them take even less damage, it probably is insanely hard. And since it's the... That, that's insane right there. Sif, Sif and Hades, where she puts a buff on herself, so it has nothing to do with Hades, and then she's reducing the damage she takes. I don't see how you kill Hades in that, in that scenario. This is These two probably are insane together. Um, but yes, let us let us go and see. And of course, what, what am I always trying to do? You guys know I'm a degenerate. So I'm gonna try to solo Apep <laughs> with the boy Hades. So there he is, uh, my man Don C Magna in the building. Let's look at his Hades. So it has a little bit of resist, it has uh, some skill ups also, which is fantastic. You love to see some skill ups. And yeah, I, I think that he has a pretty good one. Crit rate on this one instead, he's going for some DPS. Attack and then attack. So like I said, nothing wrong with going like HP or going defense as well. It's a it's a it's a risky run. It's definitely a risky one. Uh, we're gonna go with additional tactics so he heals a little bit better. And one thing I want to see is that 
I, I don't remember, but... Oh, no, she doesn't have it. Who has it? There we go. I just wanted to see if he gets stacks, free stacks for them entering into the adamantine. All right, let's do it. You guys know it's like my favorite thing to do is to try to solo uh, thing. So he doesn't get it. I was curious about that, actually. I was definitely curious to see if he gets the, uh, the stacks from the thing. So as you can see there, hold on. Uh, uh, ye actually don't know how to say her name. I feel terrible. She tried to get the buff. I got two stacks. Oh, no, no. Damn. That was way slow on that. Anyway, uh, there we go. That should be four. Stacking it up. What's really cool about using him in APEP is that he keeps getting stacked. Oh, I could have given him even more stacks. It doesn't matter. Like, my, the other units here are going to die. Boom, she's dead. Now, boom, I got that free 10. And he just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. But unfortunately, it does reset, which I was like, damn, it's, it, it resets. I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't. So you want to have a team if you are trying to do this solo. Obviously, I don't have him to show him in PvP, but you definitely want to do that. Hey, I can give you this real quick. Two stack. She can give him like four almost, which is kind of nuts. I think technically uh, Dahlia, I think, would be like one of the best because she gives like an insane amount. Like on, I think she gives like three. Got to it nice. So now we have only, we can get about 20. 20 stacks, which is not that bad. Uh, if I didn't want to test that out, but I, I can't exit out and then I'd lose the free person. Now for here, I do like to kill the, I still kill the, you guys know, I always kill the uh, other people ones first, just so they don't do too much additional damage. He is on counter, but it's too risky. Yes, we get the animation. So cool. I love that animation, it's so cool. Counter. Oh, that's a little dangerous to counter. Keep yourself alive for like eight years. She's such a good unit, man. Oh my god. Also, you can see uh, the HP. This this the gray part right there is actually the HP that he cannot. He no longer can recover. So that would mean he's also probably good in that that one. I forgot which uh, Sonic relic, a uh, Sonic miracle it is, where they uh, they keep healing. So he could pretty much counter that just like like flat out, which is pretty cool. Oh, here we go. We have died. All well, the other guys died. Yep, they're gone. So now he's here by himself. There we go. Now it's just me and old boy. He can't poison me, so I never have to worry about the a thing. But he does get double attacks on him, which is really unfortunate. Uh, which kind of does something like that. So that was a counterattack. Whenever that happens, I usually just use that. Like, I'm at 50 now, so I'm at the max damage. Uh, additional damage, I'm at the max of uh damage reduction so it is what it is but yeah this is where pretty much it would be like maybe a little bit more hp a little bit more defense would keep him alive oh three turns oh you such a bad boy Ah. I did do it once though. I did do it once. All right, I had to do my man justice here. I had to do him justice, okay? Um, I'm right now, I'm actually editing the video. <laughs> and I have another run that I'm doing right here. And I'm like, yo, we got, we, we, can, we can at least get a clear. I actually am able to keep this chick alive, which is kind of funny uh, by timing her thing. So I'm manualing it at the moment. Um, but I, I wanted to, you know, at least get the, the clear by actually managing the poison ticker. So, you know, he just, just he actually hasn't died. As you see in the other one, he actually does uh, end up dying. So, like, it's just about manipulating when I put that buff. It's like, because he gets so low. Oh, no! Oh, no. No! Wait, am I gonna die again? I think she dies. Yeah. Wait. I might be wasting my time here. <laughs> I might be wasting my time. But she does survive a pretty long time, though. Okay. Uh. Is that enough? 
Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Pixel height. Oh, that triggered it. That triggered it. But 16 HP. I think I think we're pretty good here. I think that it would be insanely hard for the uh, dragon centipede. Only, you know, top half centipede, you know. So we're good. Here we go. Show them the animation. So lovely. But I, that one I actually manually because I, I obviously I don't want to waste the thing. There we go. We can see that winning animation as well. Yes. Go Hades. Oh, I might I might put that as a thumbnail. That, that pose that he does at the end. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed the little showcase. He can do it, uh, but obviously probably not consistently. He's a, a relatively squishy character. I think attack, attack, HP is probably the best that you want to have down there. Attack, attack, HP, maybe attack, attack, defense. Uh, he does need to be a little sturdy. A lot of the times, like I said, people will just snipe him out. If you want to have a really annoying Hades, you want to pretty much make it that they can't snipe him pretty much in the beginning that they they can't ignore him and that's why hp is a little bit better than to do defense because obviously there are some characters that have ignored defense stuff so if you stack a bunch of defense and then like let's say poseidon uh, attacks him or uh, i think even tae young has uh, some ignored defense so stacking hp usually is a little bit better than defense just because of that reason and yes there are some stuff that's like the more hp you have but it's usually not going to one shot you anywho hope you guys enjoyed like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.